What's up everybody? So a quick video here. Uh, the new software from Panic came out today, panic.com, and it's the Nova software. It's kind of their web editor IDE software that's been long anticipated by Mac users, including myself. I was a coder user before that, which was the previous version. But in this video, I'm going to show you very quickly how to compile, to set up and run basically a Gatsby JS site that I use here. You know, those of you may be familiar with, you fire it up in the terminal and then you open it and so on. Well, some of the new features in Nova here allow you to do it very quickly indeed. So I'm going to show you. I've got a repository open here, which is my website, peterwidham.com. It's a Gatsby JS site. And if I try to pull up this, the local site right now, you can see it's not running, right? There we go. Now, if I go over to the project settings, I'm going to show you what I've got here and how this works. So I've not changed anything here other than change the default syntax to JavaScript just to make it convenient. Uh, preview, I've not done anything here. I've just let it to use the built-in web server. That's not really going to matter here so much. Then I created this new task. You just click on here and create custom task. Now, when you do that, it's going to give you some options, right? So you've got a build, a run, a clean, and an arguments tab that you can set up here. So these correlate to the controls you've got up here. You've got the little kind of hammer thing for the build, and then there's a play or a run and a stop. Now for the build, I've just got it set up to say, just, you know, think of this as being a terminal, right? So yarn install. Uh, it could be M npm install if you're using npm, but basically my package manager is going to run an install. And that's the only change I'm going to make here, nothing else, right? The important one is the run command here. Again, think of this as a terminal, right? So I'm going to enable the run command for this task. If I turn it off, it would it would not show up here on the toolbar. So I'm going to turn that on, and then I'm just I just type in what I would normally type in from the terminal. In my case, I have an alias that goes to a repository folder on my hard drive. And then I just cd uh, change directory into the repository, which is peterwidham underscore com. And then I just yarn start, which is what I would normally type from the terminal. Now, one other little thing here you may want to do is you may want to turn off this show progress indicator in the toolbar. I'll leave it turned on to highlight it for you. It's a little distracting for what we're doing here. Um, although I could see it being useful for, for other stuff. Now the open report you can set to never. The problem is you're not actually going to know when Gatsby has finished doing its build. So what I recommend is you go ahead and you change this to on run. Okay, and then that's all I'm going to do and I'm going to hit done. So again, my site's not running here. I'm now going to hit the run command that we, we set up and built here. Because I told it to show me the log, it's showing me the log so you can see that it's going through here and it's going to do the build as if I had typed in a yarn uh, start from the terminal. So this will take a second. And then it's just going through, doing all the pages and everything else. Um, you're not going to know, unfortunately, when it's finished here, but other than it'll it'll just be like this and there won't be any more scrolling. Now, remember I was saying about turning off the progress indicator? That's this little line here. Now, it seems that for this particular setup here with Gatsby JS, this is going to just stay like that, right? So, and the reason being, of course, is because the server is now running. It's now running the command from the terminal. So, you may want to turn that off. It can be a little distracting and it's not really going to serve much purpose here to tell us because we also know it's running because the, the stop command is highlighted here. Let's go back over to the preview tab here. So previously, of course, as I say, this wasn't running and you know there was nothing to show. But now when I do it, you can see it's now pulling up the site. It is running a local, in, a local version, the developed version of my site here from the yarn install, uh, sorry, the yarn start. So that's it, that's all there is to it. It is that simple. It is, Nova is just, was an instant buy for me as soon as I came across being able to set this up this quickly. So that's it, hope this video has been helpful. Let me know in the comments, like and subscribe. I'm sure I'm gonna have plenty more on this topic going forward and you can find plenty more at peterwidham.com. Take care.